we're here in Idaho. We're doing a pre-inspection this morning. Here I got Miguel, my, my uh, student. He's sitting there checking, uh, just checked the serpentine belts. Here, as you can tell, you wanna check your, make sure that you have no more than an uh, inch and a half, two inch uh, uh, pull on your, uh, on your uh, serpentine belts, make sure there's no fraying, no nothing, nothing starting to break up or anything on that. Make sure that your pan will will uh, open up when you're uh, in neutral. This is an automatic, so it's a little different. But basically, all you're doing is you're just checking your uh, checking all your, all your pipes and and, and your uh, all the tubing, uh, checking for any of your. Uh, your electrical lines, nothing's broken loose or missing. You're going to be looking down your your frame. You're going to be looking at at, uh, at your leaves and everything. You want to make sure that uh, everything is connected. That you don't have any um, uh, any rust or any uh, blue coloring on your on your uh, brake pads here. You, know, you want to make sure that everything's good. No leaks underneath the under the <clears throat> truck and everything. And you're just just basically checking everything out here on the uh, on the engine. You want to make sure that your fluids are uh, in the reservoir. These this is a 2019 um, or 2018 Freightliner Cascadia, so they have the extra reservoir, the second reservoir on on the uh, right side, the passenger side. So that's why it looks so low. This is uh, overflow part of the. Uh, 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 of your reservoir if you can see on the other side is where the main uh, reservoir tank is where it's up high so it's got a uh, it's got a second runoff and you just make sure everything is uh, is covered as you can see he's checking make sure that you got your fluid because these freight liners are different than Kenworth's my trucks in the shop uh, I have a Kenworth T690 I'm not sure about uh, internationals but the uh, Bobo's they're all about the same. Uh, you know, they're a little bit different on, on the way the engine setup is. You want to make sure that that uh, your uh, filters are pretty much clean, that uh, that you're not having major leakage. You're going to have a little bit, as you can tell right here. You know, it's a little bit of, uh, of, of the uh, remnants of, of your uh, power steering fluid and, and oil. And we're going to have have them do uh check the uh uh the oil uh dipstick you want to make sure that you got the oil right within uh the middle of the uh full and uh must add oil but you want to do a double check because the first time it usually is gone you're going to check and see that it's good and you get some of the stuff you you got to do i know this pre-trip I'm not doing it like you do when you get out of school for your uh, getting your license because they want you, DMV wants you to make sure that it's you got to call all the items in the real world after you get your uh, your uh, your license all you're going to be doing is you're going to be doing a visual you're looking at it you know what you're looking for making sure that you have no no tears or anything in the, in any of the uh, of the lines. You gotta make sure that you have free free wheel. On, uh, this is the uh, the steering uh, console that goes up. Uh, so what you're doing is you're checking to make sure your steering wheel that's not locked up. Make sure that 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 all of your wi wire har harness is not uh, nothing broken loose or missing or uh, or frayed. You know you want to check everything. Make sure that. Uh, that uh, all your uh, all your air uh, your air filters and and all your uh, pump filters and uh, and everything is uh, in good operating condition. And what you should do if you have a good company, if you're working for a company, is uh, every fifty thousand miles, every fifty thousand miles should should have uh, should have a ma uh, a maintenance. Uh, as you can tell on. A freight liner you have these loops what you gotta do is you got you see this right here there's a hook right here it's got a it's got a hook on get this it's gonna hook on to where 
it snaps. Bobos are a little bit different. They got a, uh, they got a pull strap and also uh, international. Same deal with uh, with your uh, with your Kenworth. As you see, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go now, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna come up here. We can turn on the truck right now. Turn the light. Turn the lights on here, and I'm gonna do the left turn signal what I what I do and I do this every shift I come up in the front here and what I'm looking for is I'm looking for my headlights seeing that the uh, left turn signals on got my amber lights up there above the cap all of them are on that none of the amber lights are down and as, uh, as we go I forgot my uh, my thumper. I got a tire thumper. Some people use a tire thumper. You also can use your feet. You can go like this, as you'll see me doing it. You can go like this with your feet if you feel it on a good set, or you can use one of these. You can buy them at any of the truck stops and use the cap. What you're doing is listening for the for the uh, air. We're going down. See, we got the we got the uh, turn signal here. It's it's on. Going down. Make sure no no damage to the vehicle. Yes, there is a damage, but this is a rental truck, and that that right there that was there before I before I picked up the truck. This truck had damage, so the last driver so. Check this. We're checking our, our our glad hands, make sure that they're they're flush. You want to make sure that up here between the two metals there is a uh, is two uh, rubber gr grommets. You want to make sure that they're not uh, they're not frayed, they're not decaying. All of the all of this stuff is there. You're looking on your catwalk. Make sure you don't have no leakage. You want to make sure that there's no gap on the apron between the fifth wheel and the and the apron up here, as you can see, it, that it's flush. Seeing that the pull handle is, is, uh, for the fifth wheel is actually in the locking position all the way in. You're gonna look for all your screws. Make sure that nothing has any gaps on any of these screws. There's no nothing uh, broken loose or missing. Looking at your at your airbag uh, chain uh, uh, bags. Right, you're just make sure that you have no flat. Make sure that you have your your mud flat. Mud flat. Your light is going and up up here. You'll see that your fifth wheel has a has a locking uh, the uh, locking bar pin that goes across right in front of the. Uh, the uh, kingpin. We we'll make sure that's locked. Some people, it's been told that some drivers out here will mess with your truck when you're parked. We we'll make sure your landing gear is prop properly suited. Nothing broke. You're gonna look down the tractor for the ribs. Make sure that everything's good. If you have, if you have the uh, side skirting, we we'll make sure that it's. Nothing majorly damaged. Look it up on your trailer. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. You want to make sure that everything is, uh, that the trailer is looking good. You don't have no, no rips, no, uh, the, the rivets. You want to make sure there's no major damage on the pulling out of the rivets because that will actually open up the side of your tractor. You don't want any of that stuff. And here again, you're going to check your tires, you gotta make sure that, that your that your locking uh, bar for your uh, for your um, tandems is, is down in the lock position. And some people have the, the actual hydraulic push button. Wanna we'll make sure that it's, uh, that it's locked up. Here's the pin where where you see my thumper. I'm touching right there. 
we want to make sure that that's in because it's spring spring action it actually will spring inside if it is not proper also a lot of people don't re don't realize this when you're doing a pre-trip right here where i'm touching this little bracket right here it's just a little c almost like a c clamp it's just clamped around and if that is actually pulled up and you turn a corner too tight it will take the trailer right off of your uh your axles most people don't know about that you don't want to make sure yeah you're going to have some rustage but make sure you're not having any major leakage here in, in uh on the hub coming out the oil you want to make sure that you have good tread it's supposed to be uh four thirty seconds on on your uh on your drives and your tra trailer tires uh and your steer tires are going to be 232nd if it gets down to that point or lower you want to uh you want to go in and get your tires replaced uh because it is a dot violation the main thing here is you want to make sure that you have both of your mud flaps you don't have these mud flaps dot will pull you over that's a violation and they can shut you down for it you're just double checking everything here you're going back i know i'm taking I'm taking my time to show you guys you want to make sure that your your lights that your turn signal light is is good that the, the amber lights on top depending on how uh the different trailers have different types of settings uh you want to make sure that you have the uh the um amber lights on the top if you got a container one of those rail cars that's ribbed it's going to be different because each trailer on those actually go, goes on top of a uh, a uh, chassis so you'll have all your running lights on the bottom you won't you won't necessarily have them on those ribbed ones but uh, or if you're a flatbed you're not going to have top lights you're only going to have your your uh, bumper lights you want to make sure that all the stickers that you got all the stickers on your uh, on your trailer uh, in the proper location. Your bumper lights. You want to make sure you have your license plate. That your license plate light is working. Also, you'll see it's a little light right there, and then it's showing. And then we're gonna go. We're gonna go back, uh, and we're gonna uh, we're gonna go on the right side. So we're just gonna go up here. Uh, like I said, the turn signal. You got the side turn signals on the trailers either it'll be down here or it'll be right at the bottom of the uh, of the trailers uh, if you don't have skirtings the skirtings are aerodynamic to kind of be aerodynamic so things don't actually fly out the side of your trailers that's why the a lot of the uh, trucks have them there we're gonna go to the right side and we're gonna start right all over again we're gonna go out to the front we're gonna look make sure because there could be a shortage or or there could be a um a uh a light that's out that'll that'll trigger off uh your light so you want to make sure your your amber lights are good and you got your left light and we already did the uh the engine compartment so you know uh we don't have to redo that and we're just going to go down the right side here make sure that we have the turn signal we're just kind of looking you want to do this pre-trip every single time yes like i said this here this was i picked it up while my truck's in the shop uh, having uh work done on uh, a coolant leak which is under warranty so i'm lucky on that i don't have to pay for anything it's just taking forever you want to make sure even on the back uh catwalk area your spare tire you want to make sure uh there's no nothing broke on the on the frame your uh your tires are inflated properly you got the 430 seconds on these drive tires same deal on the frame here you're looking at all the screws make sure there's no screwing uh, that uh that you're flush with the apron that, that you're seeing nothing out of the ordinary nothing that's a uh, uh, off it same deal you're gonna be looking you're just looking and go down here and you're looking down to see if there, if you see anything that that looks out of out of line because sometimes these uh airlines will be messed up let me looking up and 
if you if you have to on your uh, depend on the company you're working with if you're with a big company you want to indicate any of the any of the scratch marks any of that so that you're not you're not being uh blamed for any of that stuff you know uh sometimes if it's just just little smudge marks usually they uh these big companies don't say anything but if there's significant damage you let them know because then you don't have to uh be charged for it like here here showing that it that down here they they had the ripping of the instead of replacing it they they uh they did a patch off just checking make sure your pins on are in place and like i said the, the c clamp right here that is not pulled up to where where it can come off as you see it's only it's only on a little line like this so this is what what we do i always show my students uh, properly do uh you know do a good thorough inspection and when you get done doing it uh honestly as a uh, as a as they say a real trucker does it it only take you six to eight minutes but if you're taking your time like i'm doing with this uh this inspection uh recording it for you guys i'm taking my time explaining it but you're not going to be explaining it to anybody so when you do it you're just looking for visually looking for it you don't have to call out everything that is only for dot dmv uh pre-inspection not once you get uh once you get your license once you get your license you're just visually do, uh checking all of this stuff if you check these this stuff properly every day you're not going to be on the side of the road with your truck uh overheating unless you unless you burn up something majorly like if you have a clutch uh you know clutch fan goes out your clutch goes out but if you see these guys that have their hoods up and they're overheating that's because they're not doing their uh pre-trip i know that that's the way it is and i'm just gonna let you guys know if you do your inspections every day every shift every trailer properly the likelihood of you being uh stuck on the side of the road waiting for that that uh repair guy working for uh you know always notorious 90 minutes to two hours get before the guy even gets to you that's because you're not doing your uh uh inspection properly i understand if you have a blowout or you have something catastrophic that happens in the engine that's beyond a uh driver's uh condition but if you're not doing your inspections you're going to be one of those guys that go uh out on the road uh that's going to be sitting on the side of the road with the, uh overheating like a, like people do in a car always remember do your pre-inspections and you're going to be less uh less likely to be sitting on the side of the road unless it's a uh, unless it's a blowout there that you can't there's nothing you can do with a blowout but till the next video trucker jeff is out I and mean, i'll talk to you guys later remember to push that uh subscribe button and the uh bell so you could have the uh notifications of uh of the uh videos that i'm uh putting out i hope it was uh informative to you guys and you have a great day trucker jeff out